Welcome to class, addressing our head and thus the neck as well. We're going to try to just bring some relief to our skull and to all of that energy that our heads carry um, with some little tricks along the way with our poses that we recognize. We're gonna begin seated. And so come up to the uh, a folded blanket with your sits bones on that blanket and allow the pelvis to spill slightly forward. So you feel a beautiful curve in your low back, feel free to reach the hands back and make sure that that curve is there. Rising up vertebrae by vertebrae, vertebra by vertebra up to the top of your spine. So as you travel in your mind's eye up the spine, just notice that rolling down of your shoulder blades and perhaps some exhales will release the shoulders a little more. Breathe naturally. Take the hands to the thighs. Feel free to be in a kneeling position or cross-legged. But first, the simple things. Come to the breath. Take a few, maybe three rounds of normal breath, noticing the quality as you enter your practice. Particularly because we're focusing on the head, notice the entry of that inhale through the nostrils. How does that affect your ears, your thoughts, the facial muscles, and then exhaling. Again, feel that release through the face, through the sinuses. And noticing one more. Beautiful. So let's take our um, awareness of the head and take the fingers, uh, the middle and index fingers of your right hand and place them in front of the chin. Just touch the chin. So we're gonna be trying to undo a bit of habits, which humans generally have, which is head forward posture. So head forward posture can put a lot of strain on the neck and um, on the shoulders as well and the spine. So we're gonna to try to do some retraction. So just take those fingers to the chin and see if you can press back gently with your chin, just press back gently, like a half inch or, I mean, less than a half an inch really towards the back of your head. So you're retracting the, uh, the back of your head and the back of the neck. So as if you were against a wall with the back of your skull, just press back towards that wall. So gentle inward motion with that chin. And now see if you can encourage that chin to tuck slightly downward. Take another breath and just start over just to get that aligned. So you're pushing back with your fingers. So you align the ears a little more with the shoulders and then a gentle tiny nod down with the fingers. Now keep the fingers there and take your left hand to the back of your skull and allow the thumb to just drop to the, um, to the occipital ridge at the base of the skull. So when you press the back of your head into the hand and gently some isometric pressure of the hand into the head, maybe you'll feel a difference in the spine kind of lighting up and allowing the crown of the head to, to just reach a little taller and then release that pressure and use the back hand and the, the fingers on the chin to gently encourage a nod as if you were nodding yes. So you're going down first and then we're going up. So we're gently guiding the head in a nod and trying to see if we can keep that length in the back of the neck. As you look up, as you gently guide your head to look up, See if you can inhale and really invite that breath in from above. And exhaling, let's tuck the chin. Keeping that as you nod down, really feel the length of the back of the neck as you retract. Keep that retraction of the head and the chin down. So we're kind of making that double chin that no one likes to do, but it's really effective for our bones. Up and down. Now release your hands to the thighs. So we're gonna do that same nod, just memorize the feeling of your hands there. Keep that alignment, roll the shoulders up to the ears, inhale, exhale, roll them down. And now close the eyes, cutting out your visual distractions and inhale, 
nod up. Feel the ease of the inhale when you look up with your eyes closed. And exhale, tuck the chin in. Feel that squeezing out extra of the breath through the, that throat area as you chuck the chin. So we're doing a gentle nod, nothing that's gonna strain your neck, just a gentle nod with some rotations of breath, very simple and gentle. Feel free to add that ujjayi breath along the way, which is that audible sound of the breath as it inhales through the nostrils and exhale through the nostrils. Along the way, see if you can, I see some folks coming in. So just keep this rotation going. If anything causes dizziness, you can just keep the head still. So this is a gentle reminder as well to our mind and spirit to nod yes, to keep the positive going. Another couple of rotations, again, memorizing those hands that were helping you. Making the head a little lighter, feeling a, an effect of a bobblehead doll on your dashboard. And then we'll just take that head to neutral again. Inhale, exhale. Notice any difference as you open the eyes and then take the arms out to the side, sweep the palms up towards the sky and bring a prayer position above your head. Excellent. Reach the shoulders up to the ears and then roll them down. Feel the shoulder blades rolling down the back. Squeeze those hands together. So it's pressing the palms together into prayer. Elbows out to the side. Inhale. Feel that inhale through the rib cage. Exhale. Let's bring that prayer position down, hovering above the crown of the head. We want to remember that beautiful crown of the head that connects us to the sky pointing us in that direction always. And then reach up again towards the sky, sweep the arms down to the ground, landing down softly with your fingertips, noticing those roots down through the fingertips. And now we'll just get a nice gentle stretch through the shoulders that uh, we haven't done before. So let's inhale the right arm up in a diagonal and press that uh, palm of the right hand into an imaginary wall and just feel as you press into the imaginary wall that you are plugging it. It, it adds extra strength to your arm so you can plug that shoulder socket on the right a little closer to the ribs. But keep that alignment through the spine so nice and tall. Great. Now take this as high as you need to. So be very careful with your shoulder rotation. Inhale, exhale, slide that hand back along that imaginary wall, keeping that strong sense of pressure only as long as back as you feel comfortable with. And then take your left hand to your right ribs and see if you can rotate that right rib cage a little forward. So we're twisting here, encouraging a very gentle twist through our shoulder rotation. If this is pinching in your shoulders, bring that arm down. Just notice as you reach the arm back, if you rotate that shoulder, those ribs forward gently with your hand, you're encouraging a rolling back of your shoulders. Ah, beautiful. And then drape that arm down to the side, inhale the left arm up to your comfort level pressing the palm against that wall, imaginary wall, and notice the left shoulder drops away from the ear and we plug in that hip socket, sorry, that shoulder socket in a little bit. Slide against that imaginary wall and take the right hand to the left ribs and you can reach back as far as you want and just twist that forward. So we're very gentle motion, but just an isometric kind of um, opening through our left ribs and through that shoulder, facing forward. And a little self-massage there as well. Excellent, and then allow the hands to drape down, inhale, arms up again. 
prayer position, pressing down, and then bring that down to the crown of the head again, just feeling that length through the spine, reaching up energetically through the crown of the head, that beautiful energetic opening connecting you to positivity above us, looking up slightly, invite that energy and inhale. Exhale, look forward, allow the thumbs to meet the back of the skull and then the, the occipital ridge. Take those thumbs in circles, circling outward on the occipital ridge at the base of the skull. Nice pressure points there in case you have headaches or anything like that, any head strain. This can really get in there and then take the circles again the other direction. Follow a nice even path of breath. Great, and then slide the thumbs along the base of the skull there towards the ears. So we're getting towards our jaw bones connections and take the fingers to the edges of the ears and pull away from the head. Nice, Dumbo the elephant ears. And then notice as you do that, you feel the jaw loosening. So feel free to take that a little looser side to side. Some jaw energy there. And then take your fingertips to the edges of the ears and just pinch along there. Nice pressure points. Anytime you need to change the cross of your legs, do that. And then we'll bring that those fingers to the third eye. Another beautiful head connection there. That still point meditation, just keep that, keep those fingertips on the third eye, closing the eyes, and then draw a line across the eyebrows towards the temples. And then take a massage backwards circles on the temples and go back to the third eye, draw that same line along our eyebrows and take the circles in the other direction. Ah, power of touch. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Great, ah, so good. Now take your right hand to the, the, the neck uh, trapezius muscle on the left and just See if you can use that grounding energy with your hand on there, that shoulder, just not on the shoulder so that you're hunching forward, but just on the trapezius, some kind of grounding. Inhale, exhale, look over to the right. And then look forward again, inhale, exhale, take your right ear toward right shoulder. So we're using that sense of our hands on to bring a little more um, refinement to these poses. Take the left fingertips to the mat as well. See if you can lengthen a little bit there. Inhale the left ear towards the sky. Exhale, right ear toward right shoulder. Breathe into that trapezius. And then take the hand to the right ear. Inhale the head up. Exhale, left hand to right shoulder. So above the right shoulder, right on the trapezius. With your head up, just feel that sense of, of grounding through that, uh, through that hand. And then look over your left shoulder and feeling that sense of grounding. Again, don't go too far with your flexibility in the neck, just your own limits. Exhale, look back towards the front. Another deep inhale and exhale, take the left ear toward left shoulder. And then take those fingertips on the right to the mat for those, te those tendrils reaching into the earth. On your next inhale, the right ear energetically reaches up towards the sky. Exhale, left ear toward left shoulder. Beautiful. And then bring the left hand to left ear and back up. Take the fingertips to the floor and just feel that freedom. Roll the shoulders back in circles away from the body. I mean, towards the back body and then towards the front. Excellent. 
and then we'll change to a standing position. So feel free to come to the all fours position, position, curl the toes under, bring the knees off the mat and just find your way up to standing nice and slowly, keeping the knees bent as you come up to reduce any sense of dizziness. Okay, bend the knees and come to the middle of the mat keep the strap nearby. So we're going to take ourselves into mountain position, uh, mountain pose. So spread those toes out, look down at those toes, admire them and see if you can spread them out more than normal. So lots of space in between the toes, challenging on either side, four corners of the feet connect to the earth. So the ball of the foot, the ball of the little toe and the inner heel just at the edge of that arch, and out in the outer heel. Find that square and connect all of those points and then look up and then take that energy of the legs together. Micro bend the knees and put the hands on the glutes. Make sure that they're nice and uh, active. Great. And your tailbone drops towards the floor. Low ribs tucked in, inhale, shoulders up to the ears. Exhale them away from the ears and take the arms out to the side. So we're going to take the first the palms down and feel the reach, feel that broadening across the collarbones, these scalenes in front of our neck, holding that head up. Normally a lot of strain there. So let's see if we can just expand and open up. So we're going to take the palms, the arms back as if we're just reaching for to about to hug someone and you feel that expansion through the chest, the pectorals. These are areas that can get tight. Inhale, exhale, and just bring it back to neutral. And then inhale again. So these areas get tight, and then we're gonna be bringing that head forward just naturally, but we want to stretch that out. Inhale again, exhale. Let's give ourselves that hug, right arm over left. Squeeze that air out, and then inhale again. Exhale, close it down, give a hug, left over right. Great, and then inhale that beautiful expansive arms again. Let's take hitchhiker thumbs up towards the sky. And now what we're gonna do is that same retraction we were doing sitting down in our strong mountain pose here. Imagine there's a wall behind you anytime you want. You can take this at the wall uh, in your own time but we're gonna imagine a wall behind us. So the back of the glutes are on the wall and then we pick the arm, the back of the hands to the wall and we're gonna slide the shoulder blades down the back and feel as if there's a wall behind them. We're gonna squeeze them together a little bit. So we're activating all of our supports. And then remember that retraction of our chin towards the body and then feel the back of the head, imagine it against the wall and then tuck the chin in slightly. Keeping ourselves re somewhat relaxed in that stability, but nice and, and uh, stable as well. So you feel that, if you can memorize that support behind you, you can feel free to close the eyes here. Nice. Great. So open the eyes and just memorize that feeling of everything connected to that support behind us and the head slightly retracted. Exhale the arms down, grab that strap. And we'll take the strap pretty wide. We're gonna take it behind the body and hold the strap in both hands at the base of the spine, away about six to eight inches away from the body and roll the shoulders back. Uh, roll the shoulder blades together, I mean, and the shoulder shoulders sockets away from the ears. Retract that chin, that head a little bit back towards that imaginary wall, and then tuck the chin in. And then if you can take a nice comfortable width with your hands, lift that, uh, sorry, lift the strap up and then down towards the glutes and then up on an inhale and then down. Take a few rotations here and just feel that tension between the hands in the strap. Feel the opening you're creating in your chest muscles. If you want to come closer with your hands, you can do that. 
allow the breath to guide you and to create openings where maybe there weren't any before. Create more opening in the heart. Invitational inhale and exhale. Again, not going beyond your limits. Some of us are more flexible, but if you are more flexible in those shoulders, try not to go to your limit. Just keep it backed off a little bit to keep the shoulders safe. And exhale down one more time. Oh, so nice. Okay, reach, uh, let that drop to the floor. Ah, oh, notice the freedom there. So another exercise we're going to try with the head here is our isometric. So again, helping hands here. Take the clasped hands behind the head in our strong mountain pose that we've established and take your that isometric pressure. Imagine pushing your head forward, but you're going to resist with your skull. And this is a gentle pressure with the hands forward and the head back. Use your breath. And notice as you place that gentle pressure, waking up the whole stability of the spine. And then we're gonna release and then try it again. And release and one more time, press and release. So we'll use that in our poses as well to gain that stability. Hands forward to the forehead. So you're taking the palms to the forehead, fingertips on the head on the top of the head. And you're gonna take that gentle pressure. Again, very gentle here, no strain in the neck. We're gonna press back with the hands as if you're trying to push your head back, but you're pushing the forehead into the hands. Once, hold the pressure and release. Shoulders away from the ears. Again, pressure and release. One more time, pressure and release. Stay strong in your legs. Nice. Now take the hand, the right hand to the right ear, drop the left arm. And you're going to just press as if you're trying to move horizontally to the right. And, but you're the counter pressure. So pressing your hand is trying to press your head to the left, but you're pressing your head to the right. And release. And then two more of those. These are great ways to strengthen those neck muscles and also create this tension and release. Ah, on all sides, let's take it to the left, left hand to left ear. Press into that hand and hand into the ear, release. And press again. So it's as if you're trying to push your head to the right, but your head is resisting, release. Follow the breath as well. And there you go. Shake the head a little bit. We'll try one more, two more. Right side, take your hand to your right cheek. Admire that lovely cheek. And then we're going to act as if we're not nodding, we're turning the chin towards the right, but the hand is resisting. And two more of those, so release and then try it again, very gentle. And then the other side. Left hand to left cheek, and then act as if you're turning that chin. You want to put that chin towards the left shoulder, but your hand is resisting. Release, and then again, and then release, and then again, and release. Great, these are all little things you can do every day to keep your head, head and neck in alignment. Inhale the arms up to the sky. Exhale into cactus. Take the thumbs behind you and we're going to take that opening again. We pectoral muscles opening. So take the thumbs back, pinkies up, drop them towards the floor, drop the thumbs towards the floor. And as you keep the collar bones nice and broad and then come forward with your hands forward, palms out, and then we're going to hang the laundry off the line here in the forearms. Nice, inhale up again, thumbs back, pinkies up, and then move forward, palms forward and drop. Nice, nice, great. Take the hands to the hips and we'll just do hip circles here so we can wake up the whole channel. 
with our feet nice and solid and the knees loose. <sighs> Around the inside of a jar. Beautiful. So come back to a neutral, find a neutral, inhale the arms up. Again, that prayer position, reaching up and then exhaling it down above the head. Now I'm gonna challenge you to balance here. Take that balance of, take the <clears throat> crown of the head with the prayer position, take the weight into the left, lift your right knee into a right angle, just in our balance, and then see if you can transition this to a tree pose taking that right foot to the inside of the left leg, reaching tall through that prayer position. Awareness of that retraction. So pushing that head slightly back and the chin tucked in. So this is a, another way to bring awareness to that tall tree pose, keeping our head aligned along the way. Ah, release, shake out the arms. <clears throat> Inhale those arms up, prayer position presses and then travels down above the head, grow a little half inch taller. As you take the weight to the right, keeping those glutes engaged, right angle with your left leg, take that left foot and plant it on the inside of the right. Gentle counter pressure there, keeps us in alignment, head retraction, tuck the chin in. Ugh, beautiful trees. Inhale, exhale down, release it all down, shake it out. And we're gonna take ourselves to the bottom of the mat <clears throat> and enter our warrior one base. So first we'll take mountain, nice and balanced here. Inhale, exhale, step forward with the right foot. Back foot goes into a 30 degree angle or 45, whatever you prefer. Find your stance, you may need to widen it and we'll find those hips facing forward, right? So let's find that alignment and awareness all the way up to the skull. And now we're gonna send that pelvis down as we bend the front knee. Maybe you need to adjust that back foot as you come down into our warrior one. Keeping as you do so, try to keep those hips pointing forward and being careful with that back knee to micro bend it if you need to. Inhale the arms up above the head and bring them into cactus arms. So we're gonna take that same position with the thumbs back as we were standing up, pinkies up, and then look up as you do this and see if you can bring that heart space looking up, maybe a gentle back bend there in the upper back, mid and upper back. Inhale, exhale, bring it forward, palms forward. Beautiful, let's take those Fingers clasp behind the back at the base of our sacrum and see if we can straighten the arms out. Holding that base nice and strong, magnetizing the feet together. Find your center. And now see if you can bring that chin back and tucked in. Let's see if we can help that a little. Inhale the arms up towards the sky, clasp the fingers at the base of the skull. And remember that isometric pressure, let's take our back energy back with the skull and then the hands forward. Ah, do we wake up our complex of the shoulders then? Yes, we do. And the spine. So with that same sense of strength, let's release the hands up towards the sky, into prayer, salute the sky. And then swan dive yourself around that front foot into a low lunge. Curl those back toes under in a nice clean transition. And just feel the length of that left side and take the, the feet and magnetize them together. Again here, finding your center. Base of your left hand comes to the floor. Right hand is gonna come to your heart and we're gonna do a twist towards the right knee, keeping the knee behind the toes and then reaching the right arm up towards the sky. So the, the spine is coiling here and the skull is joining that process. And the eyes are joining as well by looking up at the sky perhaps, maybe chin towards the sky, but keep everything nice and aligned, back of skull and sacrum connected. 
Inhale, exhale, let's sweep it down. Right hand comes down. We find our base again. Beautiful. Let's take that back knee down to the floor. And we're gonna bring that left right knee back to match it. And we're gonna come into puppy pose. So the hands come forward and we bring the forehead to the mat. So again, connecting with our heads. So your, your thighs are 90 degrees to the mat. And then we find that third eye on the mat and just reaching along with the arms, but at the same time, rolling shoulders away from ears. And then our head goes side to side just so we can massage our third eye. Release that worry, release that flurry, whatever's going on in your mind through the third eye. See if you can find some stillness, find some harmony, perhaps in your thoughts. Inhale, exhale, full exhale. Take those hands towards the head and come on back up. And we'll take ourselves to a down dog. Before you go into a down dog, if you can grab a block to place the head on the block in down dog, a little bit of a challenge here, take the hands forward and we're gonna curl the back toes under. And you don't have to have the block if you don't have one, that's okay. Inhale, take the knees bent, ribs toward thighs, tiptoes with the feet, and then bring the heels towards the floor, feeling that hamstring stretch. And then whatever base you want to use with your block, you can place the forehead on the block. So as long as it allows a release through the neck, place the top of your forehead on that block in your down dog. Uh, take your time getting into this. It's a little, can be challenging getting that alignment but it's a really nice support beneath your head. Roll shoulders away from ears and imagine some, trying to squeeze some magazine under your armpit. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, find the base of your feet and hands. Exhale. Supporting that head. Beautiful. Let's bend the knees, walk the hands towards walk the feet towards the hands and find a forward bend here with the knees bent feet, feet are hip width apart and we're hanging our head down so we can't do a focus on the head without letting it hang and changing our perspective it's part of the practice of just releasing the head the head is such a weight and it carries the neck carries that weight. So let's just find some traction here. If this is hard for you, if you have uh, blood pressure issues and it's not good for you to stay down a long time, feel free to come on up into a flat back. Keep the knees bent and then really sit back uh, with your thigh on the ribs on the thighs. Sit back in an imaginary chair, keeping those feet hip width apart, and then sweep the arms behind you and then up to the ears and peel the ribs off the thighs, squeezing an imaginary block between your thighs. Find your strength. Now retract that head again gently and then tuck the chin in. Ha, ah, in alignment and then stand up. Beautiful. Find your base of the mat here and turn around and we'll take it to the other side. Mountain pose, inhale, exhale, walk forward with your left foot. Find our warrior one base with your comfort level. Angle your back foot, slide those hip points forward. Magnetize the feet, inhale, exhale, drop the pelvis, point that tailbone down. If you're using a foot to adjust, make sure to use your back leg, protecting your front knee. And find your base, take your moment here. Great. Inhale the arms up towards the sky. Find the length of the side bodies here. And then come into our cactus arms. Thumbs back. Pinkies to the sky. As you take those pinkies to the sky, see if you can have the mid and upper back join that arch. Exhale, come up. And then sweep the arms back into our clasped hands. 
finding a strong base the whole time through our feet and our strong legs. Inhale, exhale, release. And then we had our, oh yes, inhale the arms up to prayer, Just clasp the hands and then bring them behind the head. And we're gonna do that same isometric pressure here. Press into your hands, hands into the head. Muscles coming into our awareness, sliding shoulders, blades down the back. And then inhale the arms up for greater expansion here, inviting that energy from above and then swan dive around that front foot. Curl the back toe under, toes under. And we find our hands, feet, connection here, nice and long on our right side. And then we're gonna take the right hand down, left hand to the heart, twist over to the left, towards the left knee, curling along the spine and then reaching the left arm up towards the sky. We've opened up our collarbone, so we really have that connection between the hands here. And then look to the side, bring the eyes up towards the sky, maybe the chin a little bit turning that direction. And then sweep it down, back knee comes down, and we meet in puppy pose. Take the forehead down, really reaching the spine long, allow a release. Inhale, exhale. Excellent. From here, we're gonna come down, sorry. From here, we're gonna come up onto all fours, just curl up through a cat, just bonus there, throw in a cat pose along the way. And we're gonna come forward into a knee plank with the toes curled under, rolling shoulders away from ears. Let's take that head, action here that we've had all along, align it with the sacrum, align the back of the skull with the sacrum, and then chuck, tuck in the chin gently towards the body, lengthening the back of our neck. And then come on down. If you want to do a little chaturanga on the way, you're going to keep your elbows towards the ribs as you come down or just snake yourself down to the mat. And then we're on our bellies. <clears throat> Great, so we're gonna take another little familiar pose, locust pose, but with a little exercise here for our neck and head. Take the forehead to the mat just for a moment. Connect with the breath, the back body. Breathe into those back ribs. Exhale, release. Take the arms out into T around you. So, uh, sorry, on either side. And then we're gonna just do the practice with the head um, down. We're gonna take our arms out to the side, uh, hitchhiker thumbs facing down. First, we're facing the thumbs, the palms down in fists and then hitchhiker hands. Inhale the arms off the mat. Oops, I'm gonna move over here. Inhale the arms up off the mat. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and the shoulder blades away from the, the shoulder sockets away from the ears and then come down again. Inhale them up and then down again. And then inhale them off the mat, lifts, and then come down. So now we're gonna lift our head into that same, the chin is gonna be tucked slightly and your eyes are coming a few inches forward towards the top of the mat. Keep the, the <clears throat> toes on the mat and keep top of the toes on the mat. Mm, mean the toenails, I'm sorry. And then lift your arms up as we fly forward with our hitchhiker, thumbs up to the sky, and then come down to the mat. So we're doing that same nodding of the chin, I'm not nodding, but just tucking of the chin on our way up. Let's connect to the tops of the feet here and point the tailbone towards those heels. And then inhale the arms up and the head up. And then take the hitchhiker thumbs up towards the sky and come on down. Again, lift, head, 
arms and hitchhike your thumbs, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Find the tops of the feet, hold. Inhale, exhale down. Oh, take one ear to the mat and just shift your hips side to side. So nice. Ah, great. And then we'll come back to the mat. <clears throat> Sorry, forehead back to the mat, hands next to the shoulders, and then pull back with your hands into our baby cobra. Inhale up. Exhale down, easing down through our third eye. Pressing through the toes, finding that length in the spine, the length before the curl. So prioritize the lengthening as you come up through your inhale. Exhale. Take your other ear to the mat. And just feel that release, wiggling the hips side to side. Beautiful. And now we'll take that same length through the spine, reaching the arms next to the ears. Our nice core work here. Inhaling the left arm and the head, tucking the chin in and reaching the right arm, right leg off the mat. Half locust, come on down. Right arm up, left leg. How much can you point that tailbone down toward the heel as you do this, keeping that length in the neck and the back? Paying attention to our back body. Come on down. Lift everything up, arms and legs and head, chin tucked. Hold it, inhale. Exhale, come on down. And now when we come up, we'll swim. I enjoyed some swimming last week. Such a nice, smooth activity. Keep that sense of liquidity as we come up. And then paddle the arms and the legs. Keeping that same tucked support in the chin and the back of the head aligned. And come on down. Another swim. Find your mind to a nice, beautiful body of water that you have found peace with. Inhale. Ex everything up and exhale. Pedal. Great. Uh, and come down, release. Ah, lovely. Now we're going to flip over onto our back and find the other way to supporting our head through supported shoulder stand and a bridge. So the back of the skull now has that support behind us on the mat. Feet are hip width apart, knees are hip width apart. Beautiful. Grab your block. Let's take an inhale into a bridge. So curl the spine up, curl the hips up, take the arms full length on the mat. And see if you can definitely want to touch the back of the heels with your fingertips. Reach up as the sternum comes towards the chin, keeping our gaze soft. If you have that block handy, place it under the sacrum and land the sacrum on that block. Take the full length of the arms on the mat so you can really feel the shoulders drop away from the center towards the mat, melting. Unrounding the shoulders. So much a part of keeping ourselves looking up, keeping the head tall, rather than all of the looking down that we do. Let's take a support through the lower abs as we take the knees towards the sky and then candlestick legs up to the sky. So we're supporting that sacrum should be super comfy here. And we're going to take the full length of those arms and find the base of your 
block at the base of the, the sacrum and see if you can just roll the shoulders a little bit more as you squeeze that block with your fingers. And then take the palms down to the floor, feeling that length. We're taking a supported shoulder stand here, a great way to oxygenate the brain, inversion, the sinuses, just oxygenating that area, holding those legs strong. Let's see if we can make some synchronized swimmer action here, point and flex the feet. And then flex the feet, open up into a V, and then bring together. So we're getting a nice adductor strengthener here in her thighs. Invitational inhale, exhale. Continue this, and then come back up to candlestick. Bring the soles of the feet together, the knees wide apart, and then the heels towards the pelvis. Butterfly. And alternate back up to candlestick. And then back to our cobbler feet together. And back up. Keeping everything nice and awake and connected. Back again. And reach up to candlesticks one more time. Point and flex the feet. Oof, lovely. Roll the ankles. So we're staying in this inversion a little longer for extra support to our circulatory system. Just play around with your legs here. Bend. And then we're going to bring those uh, knees towards the armpits into a supported happy baby. Take the hands to the back of the thighs, soles of the feet towards the sky. Hips lifted and supported. Perhaps you can reach for your ankles or the sides of the feet. And allow that opening through those hip sockets. We had a head focus today, but let's not forget our connections. Other connections, hip socket. You can even roll micro roll side to side here. Find the joy of a happy baby. Drawing inspiration from those kids. Beautiful. Hold that one more breath. Inhale into that belly. Feel the belly against the thighs. Exhale. Release feet together. And find the mat, those feet hip width apart. Oh, so nice. And then lift the hips up into a bridge. Take that block aside so we're getting a nice full bridge here. And now bring, bend the elbows, bend the arms, elbows to the mat. We're really lifting up as we press through the elbows, feel even more capacity to open up through that heart towards the chin. Gaze upward at this beautiful sky above us and then reach up for that sky with the length of the arms straight up. Hold that, hold your base strong as you reach the arms above the head on the floor, palms up towards the sky. Feel the connection to the knees all the way to the fingertips. And then reach up and up. Sky hug. And then the elbows down. Snake your spine. Find each bone traveling down to the mat. Uh, one more wave, inhale, hips up, elbows connect, and then we reach up, and then over the head, find the length, 
that is through all the colors of the fruit and we release whatever we don't need up to the sky. Elbows find the floor and we snake it on down. Ah, oh, feels great. And then we're going to roll over onto our right side. Knees find each other. And arms length, palms palm to palm. Great. And because we're focusing on head, we'll do a painting of some rainbows. If you choose to do a, a regular twist, that's fine. You know, it depends on your shoulder uh, mood today. So take the left hand, grab that imaginary sidewalk chalk at whatever color you want, and keep the contact with the floor as you paint that rainbow above your head on the floor. Your head follows the fingers here. So you're looking and we're finding that flexibility in our gaze and in our shoulder and our neck. So here is where you want to walk. You want to be inch by inch here. Don't go beyond your capacity, no over efforting. If you find that your comfort level has been reached, just come on back down towards the other hand and paint, trace that line back. Pick up another color and keeping those hips perpendicular to the floor, and just watching that arm reach above us and back again. So you don't have to take the trip all the way to the other side. This is just a repetition allowing maybe a little more opening each time, but tracing that line. And if you choose on your next trip up to open up the heart towards the sky, open up all the way to the other side, you can do that into our full T arms and then back again, bringing beauty, fluidity to our movement, taking time to do so, so that when we move more quickly, we carry that fluidity with us, nailing it, nailing it into that body mm -hmm. memory. And also our awareness of our own limitations and being supportive of that. Let's bring the hands together, knees together. Let's roll onto the other side right on top of left <clears throat> and we'll just grab that imaginary chalk with the right hand watch that chalk watch the arc with your eyes and then come back to your hand the left hand again up colors joy and connection with the body If you choose to watch that hand connect with the floor and open up the sternum towards the sky, we come into a full twist here with the arms out in a T, feeling how much we've opened up that length of collarbones today and then come back and draw again mm. and back. We will feel the difference for sure. Later on, come back to the palms together, roll onto the back, bring the knees together, the feet wide apart. And we'll begin our windshield wiper knees. This is a beautiful synthesis of our spinal energy as we take one knee down towards that corresponding ankle along the thigh and then the other. When we keep contact with the shin, we just keep a nice st support through our pelvis, through the sacroiliac joint, keeping things nice and aligned. Exhaling and inhaling, feeling the breath travel along the spine. Now we'll bring this twist into the mid back. Take the thumbs to the elbow creases, elbows side to side in the opposite direction. 
and feeling that rotation into the mid spine. Let's travel up to our lovely heads, to those brains, and let's take our looking side to side, chin side to side, in the opposite direction of the elbows. In those eyes in our heads, let's take the eyes and follow the elbows. Really enjoy that lengthening along the right, the, the sides of the thighs, those hip flexors. And our eyes easing and stretching and finding a meditation with the eyes along the elbows. Excellent, bring that to a close. Take the arms down at the sides, palms up towards the sky. Notice here, we're gonna drop that shoulder energy towards the floor. So even perhaps even as we've done all of that opening, still the shoulders try to reach up towards the sky. As you exhale, see if you can roll them down, melting towards the floor. Find the back of the skull, align it with the sacrum, roll the head side to side, just feeling that massage on the back of the skull. And then find the stillness, the third eye. Find that third eye as if there's a light through your third eye to the back of the skull, connecting you to the earth and the sky through the third eye. Nice blue light, deep blue. And a bright blue light from bright white light from the top of the crown of the head. And then take one leg long on the mat and then the other. Flop the feet out to the side. And now pay attention to your head as you take your inhales and your exhales. Can you relax your scalp? As you exhale, can you release through your ears? Can you release the jaw? a little bit more. The forehead. The third eye. Release through the eye sockets. The sinuses. Release the tongue and the mouth. Dropping away from the teeth. Find the connection of this bright energy through the neck, down the spine. Light up the spine. Find the shape of your skeleton on the mat. See if you can release the whole back body onto the mat through a sigh. With your next inhale, this inhale goes through the whole body. And the exhale with the whole body. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bend the elbows and the knees. Roll onto your right side. 
and help yourself up to a seated position. Head is the last to rise. We've healed our, some of our head, heart energies today. Take the palms to the sky, inhale. Prayer position comes down, thumbs past the third eye and the throat connecting to our beautiful hearts. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice today. Namaste.